So, I'm great. Thank you so much for like coming here. Awesome. Oh, my pleasure. Being a presence. So, yeah. Now that 2023 is finally over. Thank God. Yeah. What can we look forward to from you in 2024? Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm still reeling from 2023. So, I'm, I'm really, it's been, you know, it's been strange because we, we just came out of a pandemic, you know, and, and things were beginning to get back to normal, and then then the actor strike hit, so that really kind of set us back. So I feel like I just want to get out more, you know, and, and, and not be such a hermit. I just feel like it just be a lot more social. That everything is just being done, you know, virtual, and all the meetings are virtual, and every, you know, even like auditions are, are virtual. So like, it'd be nice to go out and see people. So I think my goal for 2024 is just to be more social and 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 present. Like, yeah. You know, to the sun on your skin, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. cool. So, up until now, what has been your favorite project that you've done? That you've done? I mean, that, I mean, that's like asking like, what's your who's your favorite kid? You know? Um, I, I always, I always find that the current one that I'm working on is usually my favorite. You know, just because I'm in the moment with it. You know, and so, you know, uh, the, the, the last big project I, I say was probably National Treasure, and I mean that was such a fun show. Uh, to work on, and I thought it was just beautiful that that the uh, you know the lead of the show was a young Latina, you know, a, like a strong a strong character, and and um, you know the the story revolved around like our ethnicity in a in a very positive way. So I mean that was really uh, nice and refreshing. Um, so I you know I really uh, you know unfortunately you know we didn't get picked up for second season. But, but, but it was such a you know great experience working on that. And I really see like great things for, for the young cast as well. So like, and I'm really looking forward to see what's next. Yeah, and I mean it was made. So now there's a first season out there that people can watch and they get you know they get to see your face. Yeah, and the good thing about you know Disney Plus is is it's you know it, it's introducing the the um, National Treasure uh, brand to younger audiences as well. So I think that's you know and and it you know helps. You learn about treasure hunting and history, and you know the, you learn. I learned a lot about about history just being on that show, but even just watching the old Nick Cage movies as well. So, uh, and I think with, with the streaming um, model, like you know, it's on there forever. You know, so so you can always you know go back and watch it and rewatch and just and rediscover it. Yeah. So you are here at Nalip. How important are these events for our culture? I mean, I think it's it's important that we come together and, and celebrate our accomplishments. Um, I think there's been a lot of great work this year, um, you know, that shows that had predominantly Latino cast or, 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 or you know, the main characters were Latino or, the, or Latino storyline. So I feel like, like it's great that we come together and recognize that and, and celebrate it. That's what I'm here. And, I, and I haven't seen anybody, you know, so it's nice to, to see people that I haven't seen in like almost a year. Right. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and enjoy the event. And, you know, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.